talks are open and there's a record here on the, on the laptop of Mickey, so I'm just going to play that as it starts to close. And give that man a round of applause, please. Yeah, right, right, right. Yeah. You'd be making soup 
sandwiches and all this. And uh, Tony Gary, he lived next door, and he was another good character. But uh, him and Tony McDermott up in the hotel there was an award that time. They were great friends of Daddy's. And uh, my dad had an electricity bill one night, or one evening, and this time the electricity bill was up a pound in the city, whatever it was up. But Johnny, he told us to Tony McDermott the hotel, and then when my dad went in, we were even making the next, Tony, he took out this bill and read it. He just thought, this electricity's getting to be a way of money, Mickey, isn't it? He says, what's your bill, McDermott? And um, Tony, he made sure that he said it had two pounds less than my dad's bill. I said, that could be the new room in the hotel. He says, that why they read this meter of mine, most of it later on. But anyway, oh, well, I think she says, my bill there. But the next day, we come home, and anyway, we come up into the house, up where me, my tenant, get the soup on and the toast on. I want nothing to when I went to switch on the lights, no lights. And I said, oh, the fuse must be gone here now. My dad came to the top of the stairs. He said, the fuse is not gone. He said, we've gone home and born points or Cunningham's light. And he says, I'm fed up paying that with Christy Bill's So he says, you've been no more than Mickey's light. So that was the end of that. Anyway, it was a good time. Then the only thing that I was going to and Francie Quinn. And the slider to the moor used to be thrupping. So they walked over and I made my ass his. Will you give me two stout sliders, God, he says. And uh, Francie, he was after the evening, reading Morris Slider from the road along the yard. So she slapped up the two sliders. She said, that'd be two shillings, and stuff. Oh, God, dear, he says, hold on. A minute, he says, I could get them at home for thruppings each. But what she says, these are special sliders. She says, they're beautiful. Well, he says, Mickey, and Francie, Francie couldn't make look too much, she said. But I'll tell you, that price there, ain't them yourself. So that was the end of that show, you know. But uh, no, they enjoyed themselves then, people, because, uh, you know, there was so much involved in the music. And at that time, you know, there wasn't those people running about and trying to get into the music, into the vision. Uh, but when I think of the Nugents with the Pride Bear and Kerry Van and the Kearneys and the Francie Morphe, and there's so great traditional players in this part of the world. And then men kept the flag flying for it. And I think they deserve it. Their memories will never die. They still have all their memories. And they were so simple of people, so easy plays, but they were so, so happy too. They didn't have much, but they were very, very happy. And my dad was one of them people. And I think it's great this weekend that they're doing this. So I want to thank Kevin Goodman and all the members of the branch for doing this weekend. Thank you very much. Treasured memories of Lilter, Mickey McCann, 
and the Drumour musicians come out to my home all those years ago and feel privileged to have been a part of that unique musical tradition. So that's from Christine Quinn from Oma. Unfortunately, she couldn't be with us tonight, but she asked me to, to, to read that out. So, um, if anybody else. Uh, <laughs> Because that brings back a story to my memory. Uh, I remember when we were the Buckaroos were together, we were playing on Cork. We played regularly in the country. But uh, Rory Gallagher had a, a wee group, of course, he was one of the most famous guitar players, rock guitar players in the world. And uh, they used to play relief for us on a Sunday night. So he was asking us, could we get him up the north? And I knew Jamaica, God rest his soul at the time, very, very well. I said, I'll try it for you. And uh, I rang Jim Lincoln uh, the next week and he said, Chef, we will bring him up. And he came up and he went, anyway, the story, the part of the story I want to tell is, uh, Artie McGlynn was one of the best guitar players in Ireland as far as show went, but then we I mean, Artie met Rory Gallagher in Oma and he brought him up to our house. And of course at that time, Rory was very happy. He had the hair me down and he heard all and the earrings and all in that way. So he, he got out of the van and him and Ardy was coming into her house with dad was looking, he says, he says, McGlynn must have gone to have a new woman, he says. <laughs> <laughs> he says, she's a rare looking tinker, but I can see <laughs> So one day he came in, he see him, and uh, Ardy went out and he got the, he brought in his acoustic guitar and he said, how can you and Mickey have heard that about you? And all this and that, uh, he said, you wouldn't learn me a few tunes. So I uh, got, he said, well, I had this, he says, uh, bring your guitar up. So he started looking these tunes to him, and, and Rory, he was picking me in the way, he was very talented man. And thinking me, but after he had learned half a dozen tunes or so, he was very content, and of course, got a drop of tea and all the way. But, but he didn't see Art again for a few weeks. Uh, he says to McGlynn, uh, I'll tell you one thing, he says, Don Paul's no mug, he says, when it comes to picking her in. He says, she's very beautiful, you die. And he's still very proud of her. I do that the after, and we still thought that. You know, as I say, them people had to make their own fun and their own crack and their own enjoyment, and they're very, very happy about it. Now, is anybody else who wants want to ask me a question? Maybe they have it, you know? Anybody like to ask me a question? Any questions? Somebody asked me, they're coming in a bit. My, my father's father and mother. They were, my granny would have been from Kesh, but then she moved up, or like Kesh area, and then they moved up into the war. And my granny was originally uh, from the war, but uh, the granny was called Benny McCann, and she lived out there, and she called people who were all from you know, Kuwait, so it was only a bad country, you know, that's what that was. But there was nothing, nothing but music in my granny's house, seven minutes a week. Now, is anybody else who would like to ask another question? Just about the little new. Uh, was a great uh, he, he he enjoyed that, but then he wouldn't have taken it as serious as my dad. He just would have done for the crack when people would be in, you know. Uh, the, the Irish, my granny's house at that time, I didn't even know that was in like a little fair in Cork, but it's not, of course, they talk about talent. There's no believable talent, but their men didn't know how talented they were, you know, and didn't care, they didn't want to be big deals or big old trippers or anything at all. But my granny was good, but then my dad took it more seriously. And then he, he, he met better musicians and all, he did a little more change and all, you know, and then eventually he became but by that, remember one day we were at a concert for Father Shields, and this sort of we did concert at the start, but my dad had this snack and this gift. He says to Father Shields, he says, I tell you what to do, Father, he says, let me in come in there, he says, and we'll soon not go sleep with me. He says, they're all sleeping in there, he says, okay. So my dad, he opened it, he threw off the jacket, you see, and he made a couple of wee steps across the stage, Want to play the fiddle the way they go. So he says to Father Chief, look with Chief, he was so brave acts on that concert that day. He says, You can get started your concert now, Father Chief, and you're away enough. So he go forward enough, you know. But is anybody else wants to ask a good question now? What, what was this experience like for the family for him to come on the other island? I'm going to hear for this. I'm, I'm just wondering what was the experience like for the family, you know, for him to go on the 